I'm the adult who is newly divorced, adrift in the world, and uh, it's not it's not an exciting life. It's a little it's a little tempered with uh, sad melancholia, I would think. Uh, and yet, on the flip side, bec- on the flip side of melancholy, it's sort of funny, and and uh, it, it's just how how I how I um, just go across the world is all new to me. And uh, there were a lot of people my parents' age uh, who did the same thing back in the eighties, when all of a sudden free love, they missed it all, and then they all of a sudden, whoa, I'm alone now. There's a lot of good stuff. Yeah. It's all pretty good. Of course, I hated that the first episode was so good because I was not in Paris and I was not in the show. <laughs> so I really, I, I, I hold a grudge. Yeah. It's been months, uh, a few months since we filmed the show. So thinking about it, look, I'm, I'm a theater person, as is Alexandra. So um, uh, when we get to go up and sing, I, I love doing that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess it was because... First of all, Rhinestone Cowboy is the most depressing song in the world, and I never knew it. I used to think, oh, it's Greg Glenn Campbell, I love this song, turn it up, oh, you know, but oh, gosh, it's, you know, wandering the streets, and will I ever get a chance, and sooner or later, this it's going to come through, that phone call, and so I was shocked at how well, how appropriate that song was for my mood at the time when I actually thought it was just a haphazard choice of song, but uh, yeah, I did love it, but this whole season, uh, where the first season uh, was more frivolous, filled with stories and situations that these people were in, all of a sudden you find out emotionally how they deal with life, and it's not so situational. Mm-hmm. It's nice to take uh, the lessons we learn in life and maybe bring it to the acting. Whenever I, I, I use the script as the template as as what the, as what's going on and only that uh and how do i interpret that however my parents split after 25 years after i uh, was in college so there are intersections in my life but i'm not saying that i'm doing my dad necessarily i'm doing this guy named sam he happens to be named sam this is the life he is and when you act you play pretend and what would this guy named Sam be like if a cat came into his life? <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Wow. Wow.